Within the mind of a young girl named Riley are the basic emotions that control her actions, joy, sadness, fear, disgust, and anger. Her experiences become memories, stored as colored orbs, which are sent into long-term memory each night. The aspects of five most important core memories within her personality incorporate the form of five floating islands. Joy acts as the leader, and she and the rest of the emotions try to limit Sadness's influence. At the age of 11, Riley moves from Minnesota to San Francisco for her father's new job. She at first has poor experiences. The new house is cramped and old, her father hardly has any time for her, a local pizza parlor only serves pizza topped with broccoli, which Riley dislikes and the moving van with their belongings ends up in Texas and will not arrive for weeks. On Riley's first day at her new school, sadness retroactively turns joyous memories sad, which causes Riley to cry in front of her class and creates a sad core memory. Joy tries to dispose of it by using a vacuum tube but accidentally knocks the other core memories loose during a struggle with sadness disabling the personality islands. Joy, sadness, and the core memories are sucked out of headquarters. In Joy and Sadness's absence, anger, fear, and disgust are forced to take control of Riley with disastrous results distancing Riley from her parents, friends, and hobbies. Because of this, her personality islands gradually crumble and fall into the memory dump, where memories are forgotten. Finally, anger resolves to return to Minnesota, believing it will restore her happiness. While navigating the vast long-term memory area, Joy and Sadness encounter Bing Bang, Riley's childhood imaginary friend, who suggests riding the train of thought back to headquarters. The three, after extreme inconvenience caused by the island's dissolution, eventually catch the train, but it halts when Riley falls asleep, and then it derails entirely with the collapse of another island. Afraid that all the core memories will become sad, Joy abandons sadness and tries to ride a recall tube back to the headquarters, but the ground below the tube collapses, breaking it and sending Joy and Bing Bong plunging into the memory dump. After discovering a sad memory that turned happy in Riley's parents' comfort to her, Joy understands Sadness's purpose, alerting others when Riley is emotionally overwhelmed and needs help. Joy and Bing Bang try to use Bing Bang's old wagon rocket, which gets energy when the rider sings, to escape the memory dump, but are unable to fly high enough due to their combined weight. On their last attempt, Bing Bang jumps out to allow Joy to escape as he fades away. Joy reunites with Sadness and they return to headquarters, but arrive too late as Anger's idea has disabled the console, rendering Riley apathetic as she boards a bus to Minnesota. To the surprise of the others, Joy hands control of the console to Sadness, 
who is able to reactivate it and prompt Riley to return to her new home. As sadness reinstalls the core memories, transforming them from happy to sad, Riley tearfully confesses to her parents that she misses her old life and breaks down. Her parents comfort her and admit they also miss Minnesota. Joy and sadness work the console together, creating a new core memory consisting of happiness and sadness, a new island forms, representing Riley's acceptance of her new life in San Francisco. A year later, Riley has adapted to her new home, made new friends, and returned to her old hobbies while acquiring a few new ones. Inside headquarters, her emotions admire Riley's new personality islands, and all work together on a newly expanded console with room for them all. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Till the next one, bye.